Hey artists, this XP Pen Innovator 16 review is sponsored by me. I bought this myself and the perspective that I will share here is from an experienced amateur. One of the reasons why I bought this is for productivity purposes. You may learn something new so I encourage you to watch the whole video. I'm still not a pro yet but I've been into digital painting for years as a hobby. I am a hobbyist who is earning two non-art activities on my laptop 100% of the time. I will not explain what I see in the un unboxing since I know you guys already know what you are seeing. I am looking to increase my productivity by having a portable second monitor and at the same time, I want a graphics tablet that I can practice to improve my art anywhere and maybe go pro in the future. I always move around our house when I'm working and the XP Pen Innovator checks all of my needs. Slim, light, it doesn't require connecting to a power outlet. Another main reason why I bought this particular model is I am planning to use this as a regular graphics tablet meaning I will draw on this tablet while looking at another monitor that will be good for my back for extended drawing times since the Innovator 16 is as slim as the regular graphics tablets in the market this could do a perfect job I ordered XP Pen's Deco Pro weeks ago but after a few days, they released the Innovator on their live stream, so I canceled the Deco Pro and ordered this one instead. Will this work as a regular drawing tablet as expected? You will find out later in this video. Here is the Innovator with my 13 inch MacBook Pro and my iPad Pro 12.9 inch. Because of the Innovator's slim and light design, it doesn't feel like carrying an external monitor. It feels like carrying a bigger version of the iPad 12.9 inch. Since the Innovator is bigger, I now need a bigger bag if I have to travel. Here is the iPad Pro 12.9 inch without a case. As you can see, their thickness are just almost the same. Now let's set this up. I hooked the Innovator to the USB-C port of my Mac using a USB-C dongle. That means I only need one USB-C port of my MacBook Pro. The other end of the cable goes to the USB-C port of the Innovator. I tried connecting the Innovator to my MacBook Pro using the USB-C cable that came with my iPad Pro, but it doesn't work. Hopefully, XP Pen's upcoming graphic tablets can be connected to your laptop or desktop using a single USB-C like what we see on other portable monitors. That will surely add to the portability and will attract more artists. You can also use the Innovator as an external display for your iPad Pro. You don't have to connect it to a power outlet, just connect it to a USB hub and this setup might be something that come in handy in the future. I've been a long time iPad Pro user and the first time I used the Innovator, I immediately noticed that the pen of the Innovator is too light for my taste compared to the weight of the Apple Pencil. I think the weight of the Apple Pencil is just right, but after hours of using the Innovator's pen, I get used to it. Honestly, I'm quite disappointed with the performance of the Innovator the first time I used it. My hand is too light and I draw without too much pressure on the screen. The Innovator doesn't register my strokes and I have to push a bit harder. Comparing to the pressure sensitivity of the Apple Pencil, 
I believe its sensitivity goes way more than 8K. I can draw on my iPad using very, very light strokes and the Apple Pencil doesn't have any problems registering my strokes on the screen compared to the Innovator. After hours of testing the Innovator, I got used on how it works and I adapted to the pen. My hand learned how to add a very slight amount of pressure automatically whenever I'm using the Innovator. After more hours of using it, I have no more problems with it and I'm very happy how it performs. After two days of using the Innovator, I kind of prefer drawing on the Innovator more because of the physical shortcut buttons. It feels more natural than touching the screen of the iPad when you are changing the brush size and color picking. Since the screen is wider compared to the iPad Pro, I can easily see the menus and tools on the sides of the screen which is really helpful. Another big reason for me why I prefer drawing on a display tablet is you can see the size of your brush if you hover the pen on the screen. This feature is not yet available on iPad. I hope Apple will implement this in the future because I believe that will be a game changer. You can also use the Innovator as an ordinary graphics tablet without the display. All you have to do is disconnect the HDMI on the 2-in-1 cable. Sometimes I prefer to draw this way because looking down on your screen too much hurts my neck and back. And if I elevate the display and draw on it, my hands get hard faster. I've used a Wacom Intuos 5 Medium before and it feels like I'm using the large version of it. I also feel there's no need to retrain my hand-to-eye coordination when drawing this way. I feel like the movement of my hand to the cursor is like almost one is to one. I have to go back to work now. Uh, I set up a triple monitor system using the Innovator and my iPad Pro connected using sidecar to show some of the possibilities of what the Innovator can do uh, because of its slim and light profile. Uh, for me, if you are a hobbyist just like me who works on non-art related stuff and looking to be in the art industry in the future, and at the same time you are looking for a portable monitor to increase your productivity, I'd say uh, go for this. I am very very happy with my purchase and I'm pretty sure you will never go wrong with the Innovator. There is a cheaper version of the Innovator which is the Artist 15.6 Pro but for a $50 difference uh, you better go with this one because of its slimmer and lighter profile which will enable more versatility. So what do you want to see on the next video? Just tell me. If you have more questions about the XP Pen Innovator, uh, just comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.